Kim Wilson for the blues break this morning as evil sets foot in our life. We look to the skies, hopeless. But suddenly, we see a figure flash across the sky. The townsfolk begin to shout, it's a bird, it's a plane, no. It's B.B. King in spandex. He soars through the air and defeats evil with pure, unadulterated blues music and also a very big gun. I've got a good story for you today. Uh, now, long-time listeners may remember a long time, a long time ago, I told you that in my free time, I write children's books. It's true. Uh, and I actually read you a copy of one of my bestsellers, a short, a short synopsis. Anyway, and now I'm actually a, I, I'm, I'm a cover author, uh, in case you didn't know. It's, it's sort of like a cover band, but with books. It means, essentially, I take an already well-established story, I adapt it into an almost negligible, uh, different story, and then sell it at a high price, effectively piggybacking off the creative and ingenuity of other people and giving them no credit. It also has a great dental plan. Anyway, I'd like to read you a short summary of one of my stories for you. This is the tale of a beautiful, caring, and graceful princess and the trials and tribulations she faced when she tried psychedelic drugs. It's called Snow White and the Seven Incredibly Vivid and Deeply Traumatizing Hallucinations. <clears throat> we find Snow White at a hella lit party. She's sitting alone in one of the corners of the room, the party lights reflecting off of her incredibly white skin. She's like inhumanly white. Imagine the whitest person you know, she's twice as white as that. She has Wanderer in her Instagram bio, that's how white she is. Snow White is bored, until a plumber dressed in red offers her a strange fungus. She takes a bite and then has seven incredibly vivid and traumatizing hallucinations. I won't go into detail, I wouldn't want to spoil the plot for you, okay, you should really go pick up the book, but at the end she dies. And at her funeral, the priest pulls out an 1862 portable collapsible modular boombox and turns it to 91.1. Plays The Juke. It's the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV from 6 p.m. to midnight. It's blues music, blues that remind you, don't do drugs, folks. And take Wanderer out of your Instagram bio. We both know the only place you wander to is the couch to watch reruns of Gilmore Girls. Bob Moses, up next. I got tearing me up. I'm Brock St. Clair. This is WMSV.